the last video I created these wall panels I made a normal map in blender and brought that into substance painter and we use that to add a, a very basic texture something that I may not be using in the end but uh, we then took that and brought it back into blender and this is what we got so far okay so we've got our wall panels and now what I want to work on are these floor panels and it looks to me like each one of these is three wall units long so I can make three wall units and snap them together All right so that's what I'm going to work on now so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to take this part here and I'm going to shift D to duplicate and pull it out and I'm going to I'm going to edit mode to do this I'm going to rotate Y minus 90 and lay it like that and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to snap it down to there and snap it in and for this one I'm going to change the count here in the array to three all right so we have the right length for these I might make this six units long so it snaps right in so we can work on all that in a bit but let's come over to the shading tab and let's get rid of that material that's on there and uh, instead we're going to add a material we're going to call this uh, floor panel video so we'll do that and that's on there now I want to take this this is an array I want to join all that together so I'm going to apply that I'm going to come into edit mode I'm going to press M merge by distance and you'll see we got rid of four vertices I can now come in here in edge selection and select these edges and X dissolve edges so it's just one long piece all right so I want to just focus on that thing there but I'm going to come over to U2 uh, UV editing slash key seven to look down from the top now this piece here has a border of some sort on it and then we have these holes in there so what I'm going to do is take that piece I'm going to press I to inset I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to pull in a little bit not too much because these will all be joined so the distance here will be doubled when I when I join another one together so I'm going to do about that I'm going to select this face now and control E mark seam so I have a seam around this is going to help us in substance painter and help us unwrap so select it and just press U unwrap and I have this I'm going to select it all and then I'm going to pack this you can use blender to pack just come up here and pack islands but I'm going to use UV pack master 3 and I'm going to get that okay so that's good enough although I could probably take that and make it bigger but I don't think it really matters so I'm going to go ahead and export this as an FBX we're going to export this as um, let's call this floor panel three times doesn't really matter just anything just to, it's you know it's three of those wall units large okay I'm going to save that now I'm going to come over to substance painter and load that FBX good so there's our floor panel and let's come up here I've called I've, it's called floor panel video so that's good for the materials and I'm going to bake that it's not really much I just want I'm just gonna generate the maps essentially all right so we have this okay so now let's come over to the material so just like in the last time I'm not certain I'm going to keep these materials but we'll try it I'm going to search for plastic and this plastic grainy should come with substance painter I'm going to drag that in and that should go everywhere like that okay and what I'm going to do here is because this stuff in the image it is black I'm going to go with a black kind of color but let's change the scale to maybe around five and we can try try planar and see if we like it and you know it doesn't have to be too gritty so I could come down here and just reduce that I'll, I'll just leave it like that and we'll see how we like it 
All right, so there's our first layer. Now, I'm going to add a second layer and uh, fill, fill layer. And there's really going to be nothing on this, but I'm just going to leave color on. So I just alt click color for now because I'm going to add a black mask. And in order to see where it goes, I'm going to click on my polygon fill, make sure I'm on this one. I just want to click the center. I just, I just want that masked. So that's where that's going to be. Now I can really get rid of that, but I'll leave it for now. On this fill layer, I'm actually going to switch over to height and I'm going to set this at about 0.8 and you'll see that that's had an effect here. I may or may not keep that, but the next thing that we need is we're going to need some opacity to make those holes. So I'm going to come over to the shading tab. I'm going to switch this from PBR Metal Rough to PBR Metal Rough with Alpha Blending. So we're going to do that. And in here in the texture set settings, I'm going to add an opacity channel. So I'm going to add that. So I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to drag that down to there. And you'll see that we now see nothing. Okay, so far so good. Now, on this fill layer, I'm going to add another fill layer. And you can see what's going on there. In here, I'm going to add in the height. I'm going to have height and opacity. I'm going to drag the opacity down. And in the height channel, I want to add circles. Oops, hold on. So I'm going to click the circles. Now we can't see them yet, so let's just uh, leave that like that. Circles. Um, I'm also going to add an invert filter. Let's just go ahead and do that. Add a filter, and the filter is going to be invert. Now you can see the circles again. All right, let's come back to here. And let's adjust some of these values. For the balance, I'm going to go for 0.47. And for the contrast, I'm going to leave that at 0. But I'm going to bring the tiling up to 12. So now we have this. All right, We can play with this uh, balance value uh, if we want uh, a little bit later on. Okay, so I've got that. And I've got my invert filter on there. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another fill layer. And I'm going to click on height. And we'll see about that. I may not need anything. So what I really want to do is I want this mask. So I'm going to create a black mask. And I'm going to copy this mask. And I'm going to paste it into there. So I've got the mask, we're just dealing with the center part. I'm going to come back to here, and I'm going to add a fill again, just like before. And I'm going to choose over here uh, in the opacity channel this time. I'm going to alt-click the opacity channel. In the opacity channel, I want those circles. So I'm going to choose circles. And check out what's going to happen here. I'm going to set the balance at... Um, I'll try 0.65 and the contrast I'm going to choose 0.95 that's going to sharpen up those areas here I'm going to switch this to 12 and now we have this effect here if I turn the invert to true you can see that I've got some holes in in there and we've got you know some somewhat of what appears to be thickness. Now I'm going to come back down to here. If I turn off the height, I get this. If I turn the height back on, let's just experiment with this. All right, see what's happening? So I'm going to leave that on. I think I was at around 0.8. That's probably okay. And let's play around here, if I take the invert off, I get this. It's probably okay to leave it like that. It's up to you which way you want to do this. Uh, if I now play around with the balance, let's see what that does. Okay, so it's up to you to decide what kind of effect that you want on this. Uh, I had this at about 0.47. I uh, just kind of like that effect there. Okay, and to have a look at that transparency, let's just bring up the environment opacity, and you can see that you can see through that. All right, let's bring that back down. 
So there is my uh, my situation. Now let's play with a little bit of these. You can change the size of those holes like this. So depending on what you want, maybe I'll go for that. Let's try the contrast. Nice and sharp. Yeah, I might bring that up to there. The tiling we want the same. So that gives me my holes and sort of a basic material on there. It's very plasticky, but uh, we can decide if uh, we like that or not later. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. All right, and now I'm going to export it. But when I export these textures, I need to use a, a template that's got opacity in it. So I have to have opacity. And so that's fine with me. I've got OpenGL for my normal. And I've got AO here if I ever wanted to use it. But that's fine. So I'm going to choose this one that has opacity. And let's find a place to put this. Okay, we're going to go into video there, and I'm going to export it. Okay, so base color, roughness, metallic, normal, height, AO, which I probably won't use, and opacity. Okay, save. Now, let's go back to Blender. We'll see. We'll decide if those holes are too big. We could adjust that, but they might be just fine. So, I'm going to come over to the shading tab, and let's, let's build it. Okay, so... Floor panel video, I'm going to select the principal BSDF, shift control T, and let's find the textures. Okay, I want base color, height, metallic, normal, and roughness. All right, so they are on, but as you can see, we don't have the holes in there yet, so we're going to need to work on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to control and space bar here and just look at the materials. Now let's get rid of this displacement because I'm not using that and I'm not using that. So we have this. All right, to get the opacity to work, I'm gonna drag this out and I'm gonna shift A and choose shader, mix shader and drop that down there. Shift A, shader, transparent, drop that there and I'm gonna put that in there and I need another input there. And I'm going to use a texture, an image texture. So I'm gonna just duplicate this one, Shift D. I'm gonna pull that over and I'm gonna take this and plug it in. So we're using the UVs and I'm gonna find the opacity. There it is. And I think I can leave this on non-color and I'm gonna plug this over here. Let's go back and have a look at that, see what it's done. All right, we're still not getting exactly what we wanted, so we need to come over to the material and switch this blend mode to alpha blend. And looks like we have the circles uh, where we actually want holes, and so I'm going to come over here and I'm just gonna switch the order of these. So drag this one up, the other one will go down, and we now have transparent holes all right let's slash key to bring everything else back let's get rid of this for the moment yeah we've got some holes in there all right so um, let's take this and let's uh, shift D to duplicate it and pull it out here and snap it to there and let's maybe see if we can take everything no, it is above. It's just that we're seeing through it. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's take these two and Shift D and snap. Okay. Let's take them again. Shift D and snap. And let's do that one more time. Shift D and snap there. Okay, so what I think we'll do, let's have a look at this. So I see one panel here, I see two here, and two there. So this is really three across. They're a little bit wider than what I made, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem. What I need to do 
is I think make these maybe six long. And let's do this one and that one and take these and snap it in. And I think what I'll do is I'll just take this and I'll delete it so we'll have a hole in there. And let's experiment with a couple of different lightings. Uh, just see if there's anything that makes it look a little bit better. That one I keep coming back to, don't I? Mm. Now let's turn that up just for now. Let's get rid of that. Let's bring some lights back. Okay, now what I'll do is turn these on and just for now I'm going to take all of these and I'm going to pull them under the floor, shift D, and we're going to snap to here so it looks like there's something in between. Okay, that's good. And let's take a light. Um, and let's change this color a bit. Let's just make it like green or something. Let's take this light. I'm not going to change the color of that. And let's bring it down here. Make it something like orange. And we could try, just, just have a look at it here. Okay, let's change the world background color to black. And let's turn that off. Let's come to here and not do that. Let's just have a look at that. Okay, so we can definitely see through. Um, uh, you can't really see the detail of the floor. You know, this is not going to be the lighting, but you know, if I bring that down, let's get rid of that. You know, in order to see that. Um, Let's see. That's uh, just not very bright. I'll make it 125 for the moment, just so you can start. You can see that that pattern there. Okay. And uh, let me just while I'm here, just for the fun of it, throw a couple of pipes uh, down there. Just give me a minute to do that. All right, so just to show you that with that floor there, you can see those pipes through. So we do have the opacity working for us. So we now have a floor, which we could still tweak and move the position of these circles a little bit if we wanted to, or change their size. All right, looking at this, maybe we will make them smaller. We just have to make them smaller, tile them a bit more and we have our wall panel so we'll tweak this stuff as we go along or i'll tweak it and i'll come back and i'll show you and then we'll continue to work on the different parts but go ahead and experiment with this technique of of uh, opacity to create fences and patterns like this uh, where you can see through all right thanks for watching and see you next time